serious about you know, this creating um, an organization where people can show up whole, um, then there needs to come a moment where you actually have a conversation around this, where you actually share language around this, where you create a common commitment around this. Um, so most likely at first, you simply learn yourself to show up whole and to show up different, from a different place and to invite other people in you know, more meaningful relationships. And you do this in one-on-one, -on -one, you do this in, in, in group settings. Um, and, and then there comes a moment where it's time to actually talk about this and name this. Right? And um, in the book, in the, uh, the original, the, the text version of it, um, I give an example of how this can be done using um, something called appreciative inquiry. You know, how could you have um, a conversation maybe with an entire organization, um, even in large organizations, where, where you talk about this? Um, and you can do this in a one-day, two-day, three-day um, seminar, retreat. Um, but it doesn't need to be appreciative inquiry. You can do it in any, 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 any way you want. What, what is really important is that you, that you get to name uh, what we're talking about here, because simply in everyday business management language, we don't really have language for it. Um, and that you end up with some um, shared energy around this and some shared commitments. Um, so whatever methodology you use, um, I, I believe that in, in some ways there, there's some steps that just make, make sense, right? Um, one is simply for people to actually remember moments in their life where, they, where you know, it felt safe for them to be themselves, right? And moments where it didn't feel safe, and it can be at work or, or outside of work. Um, simply for people to remember this, ah, this energy, this, you know. Um, it's, it's interesting to explore when you're in that space, what, you know, what became possible for you, what became possible for the organization. Um, then it becomes interesting to explore what makes that in certain places I felt safe to be myself, to show up all, and in other places, whoa, that didn't feel safe. You know, what are, what are the qualities that, that make that different? Um, and, and, and then you can dream about what if our organizations, we were always in this place where we felt safe, you know, how how would we be different? How would that serve the purpose that we're trying to serve? Um, and finally, what, what are some of the commitments that we're willing to make with, to one another? What are some of the practices that urgently need to, to be changed? Right? Yeah, maybe we really need to change how we do budgets and performance evaluation because that is you know, not working for us, or how we do hiring or recruiting, or how we simply some of the meeting practices, um, you know, and of course you can find inspiration in what other organizations do and some of the practices, for instance, that I, that I shared in, in the book, Reinventing Organizations. Um, so these are some of the, the questions that are worthwhile exploring with the whole organization. And when I say the whole organization, I, I mean that like as much as possible, this is a conversation that what you want to have with as large a group as possible. Um, you don't want to have, I think, a small group of very dedicated people, volunteers, you know, five to ten people who look into it and then become convinced, but then the whole rest of the organization doesn't understand. Um, you, you know, because they haven't lived through that experience. But if everybody spends a day talking about, you know, how it feels when, when I feel safe, how it feels when I don't feel safe, how, um, you know, what, what are the conditions, what are the commitments that we make, it's, it's something that suddenly changes the whole field that makes you know, language available that, that sort of creates a new shared reality. So as much as possible, I would invite you at some point to make this a really a company-wide conversation. Perhaps you've noticed there is no paywall, no monthly membership to access this video series. That's because the videos live in the gift economy. This is how it works. I gift everything that goes into making the videos, my time, energy, and insights, and you get to choose what feels right to gift back. Please take a moment to reflect on what would feel good to give in return to help me continue doing this work. Thank you.